So somebody gave you this thing for Christmas, or you're buying it for New Year, and you want to know how to play it. I'm going to try to give you the quickest of quick start lessons, and I'm going to do it differently than I've done every other time that I've turned out one of these absolute raw for beginners. This is called How to Play Blues Harmonica, Absolute Beginner, Day One. Let's start at the beginning. I mean, what kind of harmonica should you have? I have an what we call an out-of-the-box not adjusted nothing this is probably what you got for Christmas something like this take the harmonica out it has a little C on the end it's that's the key that it's in we're gonna play blues though in a different key than the key that it's in and I'm not going to explain any of that what you don't want is obviously like the chromatic that somebody gave you that grandpa used to own It's not the right one. You can play blues, but not that way. Now, somebody may have given you something that has an A on it. Well, that's okay, but I'm gonna play a C, and the stuff on the A harp won't sound right. Somebody might have given you an F. It's a real high harp. Well, that's not what you want. You want this C, so we're gonna take it out of the box. Now, if I take myself back to when I was 16 and I got my first harmonica. I got it very much, it was a cardboard box at that point, but basically exactly this harmonica. So the first thing you should do, obviously, is hold it. I'm not gonna worry too much about how to hold it. This is absolute raw beginner. I know I'm supposed to show you all that stuff, but we're gonna have fun quickly. I think that's the point. It would be nice to play a chord. Most people, when they pick a harmonica up, that's the natural thing they do. You notice, though, take a look at your harmonica, if you have it right side up, that there are You'll notice that there are numbers across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So your harmonica is called a diatonic harmonica. Not to be confused with a chromatic harmonica, with the one with the button on the side. That's chromatic. This is diatonic, okay? Set up a certain way, certain kinds of sounds. And what you'll notice right away, you've probably already figured this out, maybe after you open it on Christmas morning. It makes sounds kind of harmonious. That's what's called a harmonica. It makes sounds when you breathe in and blow out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by trying to make a, just a simple chord, and we're going to kind of put our wrap our mouth around this thing. Well, that's how do we do that, right? Easier for me than for you. Not going to show you how to play that kind of stuff. No, that's not not. That comes later. So why don't we take the harp? And what I want you to do, this is the first hack. Your lips have to be bulging like a duck. Ugh. So your natural inclination, I suspect, if you look at your harp and put your mouth against it, it's sort of like your first kiss back in junior high school or high school or something. And your lips will be too narrow if you do that. So the first thing to do is bulge them up. And then be listening for those notes. The one hole, you know what? Do I seem like I'm playing around maybe a little too much? That's actually, there's a method in my madness. You're going to play the harmonica, you better be able to play with it, have some fun. This thing's going to transform your life if you give it just a little practice time, but let's go to that one, two, three. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a nice deep breath. Can you tap your foot? That's what I do. That's number one. Bulge the lips. Hack number two. This is probably too advanced for an absolute beginner, but why not? Um, would be to mouth syllables as you draw in and draw out. So if I go ta 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 as I'm blowing out. Same thing as I'm drawing in. Or how about this? Let's do a slightly different groove. You know what a groove is? Sort of the feel of the rhythm. So already, I mean that, we're just doing a basic in and out chord rhythm. I'm kind of going ta ta, but drawing in. Ta ta. Or da da, da da and then ta-ta. 
first of all, it's great to tap your foot if you can. Don't worry about how to hold it. You can hold it like this, that's fine. The next thing we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to make single notes. So I'm gonna take the four draw, four draw, four, the, the four hole. Find that number, find the four, look at the, the number, that's the four hole. The draw, draw means pull air in, blow means push air out. Draw and blow, or suck and blow, ha ha ha. This is an important harmonica note. So I'm going to take my lips and narrow them instead of... But guess what? If you can't do that and you get a little bit of the 5 or the 3, then that's okay. So I'd like you to try to do that. Try for the 4, but don't worry too much if notes leak in. Don't worry too much now if notes leak in around the edge. It should sound something like that. And breathe in. And now blow. Try to get a single note. But if a little leaks in, it's going to work anyway. Now, as you draw in, I want you to try to go ta-ta-ta-ta-ta as you draw in. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Can you do that? Can you hear what I'm doing? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Can you do that? It's so harmonica 101. This is like DIY. That was where you start to make something that almost sounds like music. I went da da on the four with a little bit of the five and ta ta blowing back out. Can you do that? Now, you'll be making music if you start to feel it. Bum, 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 bum. That's the groove. Bum, 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 bum. And it's okay to weave back and forth like your Stevie Wonder kind of feeling it. Stevie weaves because he's feeling it. So it's a good sign for you. All right, have you with me so far? And you don't know anything about me. You can find out. Adam Gusso's the name. You can find out. I spent a whole lot of time learning how to play this dang thing. It's made me some money. It's gotten me a little bit of fame and fortune, but not, you know, not a, not a whole lot. Mostly, I just find it fun to share the joy because I know that I'm going to unlock something in you because it's it just happens I get emails from people it just happens and here we are in 2020 when by the time you see this it may be 2050 and I may be long dead in the ground moldering away that's okay because you're still getting pleasure out of this which is fine with me so Now we're going to make a big leap, and this is like day one of the harmonica. The tricky thing isn't just in and out, but it's side to side. You know what I'm talking about? Moving side to side. Once in the middle and twice from side to side is an old, dirty old blues song, actually. Once in the middle, okay. And so what I did there is I slid from the four, I just moved my lips down the harp a little bit. If your lips are dry, you can use a little chapstick or Burt's Bees or make sure you're fully hydrated. Can you do that? You know, if, if you're getting single notes, it'll sound like... Can you do that for me? Okay. So in each case, you're going to go da da ta ta da ta as you move. And then we're going to go down one more. So we're sort of going four draw, four blow, three draw, two draw. But if we get this with the right kind of groove, it's not going to matter if we specifically hit the notes. And I know you're not going to specifically. That is the whole point of being a ranked beginner on the harmonica. You mess up, but this is going to sound good anyway. That's why I like it. It's foolproof. Idiot proof. Oh, now I just... See, what I did there is I just goosed it up a little bit, and I bent it a little bit. That's not lesson number one, but you can try. Wah, wah, wah. That's, just, that's what we call a bend. I think it's probably too advanced for you. You're welcome to try it. Whoa, 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 whoa. And some certain proportion of the people who watch this video as ranked beginners will be able to do that. We'll be 
able to do that. And suddenly there we are. Suddenly we've got, it's like the Wright brothers and we're suddenly aloft. And so suddenly what we've got and I think I've led you by the hand and you, I got you there without you even quite understanding how it was happening. But suddenly, we've got a groove and we've got a repeatable riff. This is Blues Harmonica 101. So what I did was I, I did what I told you I was going to do. I did those three things. Four draw twice four blow twice, three draw twice, then I slid to the two, a little messy, and then I blew the chord out. That was the key move. So that chord rhythm, Oh, did I not show you that? I didn't really show you how to do that specific thing, so let me show you. And here's another really key hack on this. Because what I'm doing is I'm drawing a chord in, but when I blow out, I'm releasing the harp so that it's not tightly uh, on my lips. And that gives a different kind of feel in your mouth, and it's what you need to keep equilibrium between air coming in and air coming out. See what I'm doing? If I didn't do that, I'd end up pushing too hard on the blow notes. It just wouldn't sound as good. So already, I'm, this is giving you what the, the pros learn over a period of many decades, was we learn that sort of subtle breath control by releasing and, and, and non-releasing the harp. So draw in. In fact, that in itself is wonderful beginning blues harmonica. And you can add little ta ta I went ta-ta-ta. over but you now have something you can play now let's say a pro like me took that thing that I've got that basic idea how would I goose it up so that you have some idea of what we do I'm gonna I have no idea I have no idea but let me see what I could do Now, I'll just say right off the bat, this harp is right out of the box. It's a little sticky. It's not the harp that I use. See, I've got a broken in harp. Suppose I tried it on that. So let me just tell you what I was doing. I'm doing some totally like advanced, but I'm just trying to tempt you. I'm trying to say thank you for showing up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have a beginner deluxe, a beginner, uh, uh, I've got a couple of beginner packages on my website that thousands of people have used over the years. I'm going to put a link to them down below. I'm also going to put a link, if I can, to all my other beginning lessons. So if you want a sort of different version of this same thing, but I've never actually played this particular song. I just made this up because I said to myself, I'm going to give absolute beginners the absolute easiest entree into this wonderful world of blues harmonica. So, I'll see you down the road. Have fun with it. Bye-bye.